Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this video, I'm going to show you from the new Facebook business page and the classic Facebook business page, how you can now boost a post more efficiently in order to get in front of the right audience for your products and services. So here we are on a business page. What we're going to do is we are going to scroll down to the post that you want to boost. Now this is one photo. So one of the things that I like to do is copy the URL where I want the consumer to click. So I just copy it. And now I have it copied and I'm going to go ahead underneath the post and I'm just going to simply click boost post. Now you want to make sure if you have different ad accounts that it is on the right ad account. Then you're going to scroll down here and you're going to look for your call to action button such as I am looking at right here which it says button. This one says get WhatsApp. I'm not using that. What I want to do is click this little tiny half diamond. It's going to give me a drop down menu. Now what I'm going to do is click on learn more. When I click on learn more, I can now go ahead and add the URL for where I want the consumer to end up when they click. Now right now it has your website, but that in fact is not where I want the consumer to go. So I'm going to add the link where I'd like them to end up, which is on the market evaluation page for this particular real estate agent. So now I've got the call to action done and notice just above it, it says special ad category. This is really important. If you do not turn this on, and then click on the selected category for which your business is and in real estate it's housing you click here now your ad will not get turned down so if your ads have been turned down on Facebook quite likely it's because of the new special ad category that you need to click now when you do that it does not allow you to be specific and really detailed in your targeting however it still allows you to have some features so one would be the city for which you want your ad to be located in and it has to be within um, 15 miles or more so if you want to open this up to say more you would click on the pencil and as it opened you would go down here and you could make the targeting field larger by adding um, another area in and around wherever that particular property is. The next thing you can do is you can also change your targeting by clicking on the same pencil scrolling down and you can see detailed targeting and it can give you suggestions so you can just go ahead and click on all those suggesting suggestions that you'd like or you can add your own I always like to go house hunting, renovations, nature, home improvements, and then save audience. And so you can see how you're building a more targeted audience. However, it's not highly specific um, like it used to be. It's still very good. Then you can go down here and choose how much money you want to spend by dragging this over. And you can extend the number of days, remembering that you have to spend at least $1.40 a day on an ad. There's no longer $1 a day ads. Then you just scroll down, make sure your right credit card is in place, and then you click Boost Post. Facebook will then submit your ad for review, and you should know within a 24-hour period if your ad has been accepted. And then you can just go ahead and go over to your ad center if you would like. And in your ad center, you can look at all your ads that you have. And you can get more details by clicking on View Results. And it will give you more information about how your ad is doing. And the best thing of all is you want to learn how many people are clicking on that link and going directly to your website, either looking at that listing if it's a real estate listing or asking for a market evaluation if in fact that's what your call to action was. I hope this helps you. Remember, you can always ask for private 
help by reaching out to me. This is Heather. Keep it simple. Okay, so now we're looking at the classic look on Facebook and we want to boost a post. It's pretty much exactly the same thing that we just went through. We're going to scroll down until we find the post that we want to boost. There it is right there. Uh, it already says that we've boosted it and so what we can do is just boost it again. So we click boost again. It opens up the menu. The first thing we need to do is turn on our special ad category, choose housing if you're in real estate, and then we can go down and we can edit and refine our audience. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a call to action button posted, and once we do, it will show up on here, although it's not showing up right now, and then we choose our budget, and so it's pretty much exactly the same thing that we just went through.